Hey guys, your objective with this video is to introduce the design problem for the slab. We're going to be understanding the components of the slab and then finally we're going to be looking at clause 9.3.4.2 and discuss a little bit about deflections. So here's our design problem. We have this grid. Now there's going to be a couple different slabs we're going to be looking at. You can see it's a little bit symmetrical. We have 8 by 8, 10 by 8 and 10 by 10. Uh, this is there, 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 and there. This is there, 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 and there, and this is by itself, okay? So this essentially is a slab, and we've got beams going across different grid lines. So grid line 1, 2, 3, 4, and grid line A, B, C, D, we have beams going across. So in this, in this um, video series, we're just concerned about the slab. So just some properties. We've got an FC dash of 32 MPA. We can then find FCMI from the code. So we would turn to table 3.1.2 um, we have FC-32 MPA so we have FC my of 35 and E of 30100 so if I can just zoom in a bit for you guys so 32 so we have 35 and 30100 so this would be 35 and um, EC would be 3100 30100. Now, the code says that the density of concrete shall be taken as 2400 kilograms per meter cubed. Now, that's just normal concrete. We're dealing with reinforced concrete. So, we're going to um, just add a bit of density to that and say that our gamma bulk, our gamma density, is 25 kilonewtons per meter cubed. Um, concrete varies quite a bit. So, uh, you'd find if you look up on the internet, if you looked for the density of concrete, you'll get a range of values between around 2,200 to 2,800. So just for the purpose of this video, we're going to be assuming it's 25 kilonewtons per meter cubed, which essentially is 2,500 um, kilograms per meter cubed. Uh, the next thing we need to find is um, psi S and psi L. Now you have to have... A